Hey everybody, welcome back. This is my final video for Eurovision 2018. It's a week late, I know, that's Eurovision Blues for you. Um, if you've read, read, if you've watched my previous videos, the semi-final one, semi-final two, you would know about my predictions. I got eight out of 10 right, which I said in the final video. Well, I've got none right, so <laughs> my streak ended. I did get a couple of close calls, sort of Israel second, Cyprus third, because I put my favourite Estonia top. Obviously, that didn't happen quite right. Um, I looked down my list, I was close with two others. Bulgaria, I put 13th, they finished 14th. And the same with Spain, I put them 24th, and they finished 23rd. Everyone else was miles off. So, um, let's, uh, let's just reflect on everything that happened on the evening. It was a great show by Portugal. Glad they won because they have put a good show on, but their song didn't really deserve to finish bottom, um, which is a great, great shame. Now I look forward to next year. There is, um, obviously we're going to Israel, Netta said Jerusalem, Benjamin Netanyahu, the president of um, Israel, has said Jerusalem. I hope we go Tel Aviv next year. Be on the coast again would be absolutely fantastic. There's not much difference and people can still go to Jerusalem if they want. But there's one reason I say this as well. Next year, if they have it on the week we've had it this year, it's Jerusalem Day, which is a spiritual event for the Palestinians and the Israelis from when the Is obviously when the Israelis took over when it was made as Jerusalem as their holy city. So it's 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 a controversial week that day. So hopefully there's not going to be too much trouble for them there, but let's put Eurovision in a safer place. The other cities named, um, which I predicted correctly, I got all four right, which I've seen is Haifa in the north of Israel, and then you have Beersheba in the south, but that's quite near to the Gaza Strip, so I, would, I thought it wouldn't be, but that's where all the sort of technology is, so we never know. No sort of proper indoor venue outside of Jerusalem, so that's it's probably going to be a football stadium, but let's see how it plays out. Good luck to Israel next year in hosting. I do have a competition later on this year that I'm sure you lot are going to be very happy with. But I can't announce it any more than that because I'll get in trouble. So let's just wait and see. I'm looking at participation for next year's Eurovision myself. But I do need a bit of a hand there. I don't think it's going to happen. I mean, I was in talks with someone who's in the Eurovision community who's been there before, but I think that's not going to happen either. So, um, that's it for me, really, at the moment. So, um, thank you for watching my Eurovision predictions. Sorry, this last one's a bit late. And I'll basically, um, see you in the next couple of weeks, I hope, to announce something big. Bye.